I'm Kaya Folio. Um, I am a painter and a writer and long long ago in the before time I did a bunch of Magic the Gathering cards. Uh, I started out with Arabian Nights and Antiquities so that was a long time ago uh, but I've started coming back to Magic conventions very recently and we've been having a lot of fun my husband and I. Uh, my husband is Phil Folio he also did Magic cards. As for me I've been asked what my favorite card or cards that I worked on are. Uh, my favorite definitely is Spirit Link. That was a Legends card. Um, I remember when Jesper Mirfors, the uh, art director at the time, asked me if I wanted to work on magic and I, I was right out of school and I said, Jesper, have you seen my work? And he said, oh yes, I, I've seen it in convention art shows. You're wonderful. Come and work on our game. And I said, well, all right, as long as you've seen it, it's, um, you know, because I didn't have a lot of confidence in my, in my level. Uh, but he was very kind and he hired me to work on it and I had a lot of fun. When it came time to do Legends, I, um, I painted the Spirit Link card. It was one of several that I painted for Legends. Uh, and I heard from folks who worked at the company that Jesper was running around when I turned that in going, Look at this! Kaya painted this! <laughs> and I would say that it did represent a, a bit of a level up from uh, the earlier work that I had done. So, um, hooray. Uh, it is still one of my favorites. I think the uh, sorceress in the picture is beautiful. Um, I, I love the cat. I love that they liked it so much that it was on the cover of the... Mm, there was a computer game and I, I, I don't remember who made it, but it was on that. Uh, and then later they had me... Uh, I repainted it and I did a bigger, more uh, expanded version of, of the same painting and I liked that. I liked how that worked out. And when they had Magic the Gathering, um, the, the Wizards of the Coast stores in the mall, uh, they actually had a bunch of sculptures uh, commissioned from Kim Graham who now uh, lives in New Zealand and does work for Weta. Uh, she's, she's so good. She's She's an incredible sculptor, uh, an incredible sculptor, <laughs> and uh, so there was this life-size Spirit Link uh, statue. We also had a mid-size Spirit Link statue and a little tiny Spirit Link statue, all of which were in different poses. They were all beautiful, uh, but when the Wizards of the Coast stores closed, we found out that this was happening and we actually uh, managed to get them to sell it and they did sell it to us they didn't they didn't give me a sculpture but uh, I have this lovely full-size statue and she stands in the uh, in my in my attic uh, workshop area it has a big peaked roof and a big um, kind of a platform in the middle where the stairs come up and she stands right there uh, right in the middle of the house at the top and every time I look at her I think oh that was wonderful and I'm so glad so pleased that I got to work on all of those projects. It was a lot of fun. Uh, for some of the other cards that I've done that I've really enjoyed, uh, I love the Bird Maiden. And uh, that was a fun one. I have pictures of one of the um, one of the Wizards of the Coast employees dressed as the Bird Maiden at a, at a convention. And she just has such joy in her face. She, she matches the card beautifully. And she's so cute. Um, I loved the North Star, which I think was for Ice Age, but I'm not sure. I like Keldoran Pride because I got to uh, draw a bear. I like bears, uh, and, and I like to draw them. And, um, mm, and I think uh, that's about all I can think of to say right now. Uh, although I'm sure I could keep talking if I were streaming on Twitch or something. I know I could talk for hours there. Uh, so I will let you go, but uh, thanks so much for uh, visiting the convention, and thanks for watching. Bye!